how would the world be different if it rotated in the opposite direction? So the rotation of Earth is largely responsible for the macro wind and ocean currents we experience, both of which play a massive role in distributing heat and moisture throughout the rest of the planet. In our reality, the wind patterns look like this. Here are the ocean currents. This is annual precipitation. And here is average temperature. If the spin of the planet reverses, all of these patterns will shift in some way. First, let's tackle wind patterns, because here at various precise latitudes, winds move in specific directions due to the spin of the Earth. So if we invert the spin, these wind patterns will also move in the opposite directions. Now, when it comes to the ocean, the, the picture is a little bit more complex, but on a broad macro scale, the ocean currents will also be reversed in their directions. Do note the color of the arrows because these indicate whether or not it's a warm or cold ocean current. This is a map of the average ocean temperatures today. And here's my prediction of ocean temperatures with a reversed spin. At first glance, it's not too different, but we're gonna break down exactly how it differs. So one of the big ones is the direction the water moves at the equator. Today, it moves east to west, leaving the eastern part of the Pacific cooler and the western side more hot and humid. But if you flip the spin of the planet, this will be inverted. Also, the Gulf Stream is completely different. We still have warm water leaving in the Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean Sea, but instead of heading to Europe, it moves southwest towards Africa. Now, the temperature of the water, of course, affects the broader temperature, but it also has a huge impact on moisture availability. So when we combine ocean currents with the wind direction, this is going to give us a pretty good idea of where the deserts will be located in this new reality. So on this map, yellow is my rough estimations on the location of more dry conditions conditions and green is more lush. One misconception here is that the US Southeast will become a desert if the spin of the planet was inverted. However, I do not think that is the case. The Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean are still fairly warm and humid, and the wind patterns are moving from ocean onto land. Also, the Appalachian Mountains are not large enough to cast a rain shadow, so the Midwest should also receive a healthy amount of moisture. Moving to the West Coast, Due to the warmer ocean temperatures, there will be more moisture in this region. However, it's not going to make it too far inland because the wind patterns are moving in the wrong direction for that. Mexico is now surrounded by warm water, and thus it should be a jungle. But as you move further south, the Andes Mountains will create a massive rain shadow for most of the South American continent. And this will result in the Amazon rainforest turning into a huge arid desert. And this desert should be the new largest desert on the planet because the Sahara Desert will receive a lot more rainfall. Thanks to both the new current and wind patterns over the Atlantic, Africa should receive a, a noticeable increase in rainfall. And this rainfall should be pretty evenly distributed throughout most of the continent. But Europe will be much colder and drier, resembling modern day Russia and Canada. Another notable change is going to be found in Asia. Here, due to the colder ocean currents, the whole region from Japan to even the Philippines should be more temperate and less humid, with Japan possibly having a climate close to the modern day United Kingdom. But overall, if the spin of the Earth was to be reversed, these regions in blue should be colder than today, and the red regions warmer. And essentially what this means is that thanks to the new ocean currents and wind patterns and how they interact with the geography of the planet, there's going to be less heat diffusion, meaning that there's a greater difference in both temperature and rainfall between the tropical regions and the polar regions of the planet if the Earth spun in the opposite direction.